Hello everyone and welcome to your Soul Matter reading. This reading is intended for those of you who have really been struggling with uh, money, abundance, connection, stability, and security. Spirit wants to bring you some answers, some enlightenment because your energy has been putting it out there, asking spirit, asking the angels, asking your spirit guides, what can I do? Why is this happening to me? Why why is nothing changing? Shall I always struggle? Do I have to be hungry? It's a lack of abundance and stability in the material realm. The earth chakra is the root chakra and that's all about survival in the 3D physical realm. And so you've got to think of it like this. When you are firmly rooted in with Mother Earth Gaia, your root chakra, you are like an unmovable boulder. It doesn't matter the storm or the weather, you are fixed and you are gonna be unmovable. But when your root chakra is not firmly anchored in with Mother Earth Gaia, you're like sand blowing in the wind. And being sand blowing in the wind, you're not able to firmly root anywhere, which uh, creates lack of abundance in the physical realm for you. Also, an imbalance of being able to um, make solid connections. It manifests in many different ways. And so spirit wants to bring you the answer. And this is like the first step. Spirit is pointing you to your earth chakra and saying, we've got to get this balance because um, your earth chakra being firmly rooted and anchored into Mother Earth Gaia is going to allow your spirit to be nurtured through those energetic roots. And through that nurturing, all of your chakras are being fed and your awareness is perfect and you see opportunity you have motivation um you feel empowered because when you, uh, your root chakra is out of balance, you can lack motivation, you can lack direction, you can lack determination, um, and you can lack flow because that comes from the uh, sacral water chakra as well as the solar plexus chakra, the fire chakra, okay? Those are in conjunction of your motivation, your personal empowerment, your creative abilities, your passion and zest for living life and so if that root chakra is not balanced and anchored with mother earth gaia it throws everything else off and it may lead you on a goose chase thinking oh you know i'm having trouble um, maintaining connections um because of my personality or because of this or because of that when at the end of the day the truth is it has everything to do with your earth chakra and spirit says what do you have to lose by focusing a little bit of time and energy on balancing and healing your root chakra and firmly connecting with Mother Earth Gaia. Everything will begin to change for you. We're going to pull a lot of cards to bring insight for you, you know, mana for the soul. And I'm also going to leave links for you for um, root chakra meditation and healing. And also, I recommend learning Tai Chi. I'll leave some links for that as well because that gets you in tune with the energy flowing through your body. And as you become much, much more aware of that, you'll realize when your root chakra isn't isn't grounded because when you're not firmly anchored with Mother Earth, you're always going to be up in your head worrying about money, worrying about abundance, very distracted because there's a lot of needs of yours that feel like they're not being met. And Spirit says, calm your energy, focus on on your earth chakra connect those roots with mother earth gaia and make that a practice every day for the next 30 days and your life is going to begin to change your motivation is going to return um, different opportunities that you weren't noticing before are going to become very apparent you're going to open up and expand to new ideas as well so let's pull some cards And I will be doing one of these for each of the chakras, so. Okay, no, <clears throat> you are safe. 
I bring you the light and I bring you hope. I fill my vase with your fears and worries and release them to the ocean. All is well. So Spirit is saying, you know, where we feel like we are lacking, it's an easy fix. It's all about connecting to that root chakra. And when you aren't firmly connected to Mother Earth Gaia, and your uh, earth chakra is out of balance, that's when you um, tend to be more in a consciousness of feeling like something good or something lucky has to happen to you in order for your life circumstances to change. It's a very disempowered feeling and there's not even a, an awareness of knowing that you feel disempowered. And as your root chakra is anchored and balanced and healed and is properly flowing, it allows that nourishment from Mother Earth to reach every chakra equally and it opens you up, all right? And it, it changes awareness and you come into a place of feeling safe like that's the most important thing is like you've got to feel safe and you know throughout the day tell yourself i am safe i am stable i am secure i am abundant i am provided for and believe that and shift the energy around you to reflect that and you know as you stay rooted everything about you in your life is going to change i promise you for many 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 years of my life i had root chakra issues and i had a number of different healers and readers tell me this but i didn't care about root chakra whatever it's all about the higher chakras that's where my interest was and um even when i would get aura pictures my um, aura would always be red that's because my root chakra was so out of balance and it did not matter the curtailing for Photographers that I saw every time my root, uh, my sh my aura was red because my root chakra was out of balance. And finally, at one metaphysical fair, I went and had my aura picture taken, red as always, disappointment. And I went and saw this energy healer, and she truly changed my life. Um, best Reiki ever, but she opened me up and right away she noticed the imbalance of my root chakra and my feelings of lack and not having enough money. And at the end of the reading, she literally opened up her purse and she said, her name was Anne, and she said, Anne's purse is endless for abundance. And she repeated that a few times and it like brought tears to my eyes, like those words penetrated my soul. And she just like it was, was a huge release and you know also the energy work she just did was a big help and then she said go get your aura picture now and I went and I was green my heart chakra was wide open I was no longer stuck up in the headspace with all the worries she had pulled me down and centered me and made me aware of my energetic imbalances and from there my true essence could finally open up and my life started changing quite a bit from that space and I worked on that root chakra energy all right and I'll tell you what I probably have had like 10 aura pictures uh, taken throughout the years prior to this experience and every single time read every single time and then after that session with her it just green and I any all the consecutive uh, pictures I've had since then never read anymore and so for you guys spirit is saying the answer to everything is truly all about your earth chakra that you know um the earth chakra is your root the sacral chakra is your water chakra the solar plexus is your fire chakra and your um, heart chakra is your air chakra the four elements all right that are connected to the 3d realm and the earth that's where you're stuck is uh, really connecting your spirit into the 3d realm and you need to do that in conjunction with mother earth gaia and meditation um, relaxing your energy setting the intent will help you as spirit says you are safe and there is so much good to come and it's time that this become your core belief system that you are safe you are abundant and you are provided for let's pull some more cards
<clears throat> attraction, magnetism, yes. A lot of what you desire can come into your realm, but if you're not firmly anchored, if you're not firmly anchored in reality, you can't pull that cosmic energy down and make it manifest. And that's like this here, really learning this and mastering yourself in the root chakra is going to be the game changer for you. And now we have comfort and hearth. And this is also going to provide much more stability in life in general for you in, you know, potentially owning your own home for the first time or having a stable home, feeling out home in yourself in your body loving yourself feeling good about you and your life and all the potential and also creating much more solid connections through friendship through romance all right it's like you don't have to go through life um feeling as though things have to happen to you for good luck as you root your uh earth chakra strongly with mother earth gaia and it's very balanced and the juices are flowing from her and the cosmic energy coming down um, all meeting in your central sun you are going to feel so empowered like i make things happen for myself um this is you know we all have good fortune and good luck that comes our way but um i just really feel here like there was this element in your thinking of i've got like something good just has to happen like i've got to get lucky a windfall or something or nothing's ever going to change for me what do i got to offer who am i and as you work on this root chakra you become so empowered that that you it's like you're taking your own destiny in your hands and you're gonna make magic you're gonna make things happen for yourself with this card here like you have everything within you spirit wants you to know that 1000% wants to pull you out of the mental body where we're so worried and we're analyzing and what if this and what if that and trying to calculate all the variables you know pulling you down into yourself so that you can anchor your energy and it's like all things start becoming very very clear so let's pull some uh, tarot King of Cups, the Devil, the Moon, and the Ace of Cups. All right, so we pretty much have water, 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 um, and then the Devil here. So with all this water, your next chakra, your sacral chakra, your water chakra is also severely impacted by what's going on in the root chakra. It's keeping you in a cage, in a sense, um, where you know you feel very disconnected from people like you feel people take advantage of you or they just they don't know the depth of you they don't know your heart they don't know your soul um you just feel like uh there's a lot of bad luck like life is really heavy and challenging for you is where your perception is and um because of that you know the imbalance that's also now created in the sacral chakra that's your feeling center that's where you're able to, you know, flow through all life situations. That's where you're able to feel the energy and the emotions from others, to be empathic, to be compassionate. Also, the nurturing energy about you, as well as your creativity. And so um, there's a blockage, a big blockage there. And with the moon... It's like the challenges of your life um, have put you in this place where if things are going right for a minute, it almost scares you. Like, whoa, what's wrong? What's going on here? 
like this is too good like there's a lot of fear inside of you that like if things are going too good that is it's just going to fall apart it's not meant to be um just because of what you have been through and spirit really wants to release you from the cage of your own mind and that cage has been created by past experiences it, it is uh no reflection on what truly is in this moment or what could be for you in the future because here at the end we have this ace of cups and the balancing like you working on the root chakra is going to naturally balance the sacral is going to naturally balance your water chakra your feeling center okay and in that space you are now like wide open once again and when you're wide open that's when ideas come to you that's where you see different opportunities that weren't there before and feeling back tapped into your creativity being able to come up with different ideas and solutions that may have really evaded you or eluded you in the past um, and you're going to be so relieved. Um, focusing on the root chakra is going to bring so much balance to the, like your emotions. You're going to be surprised and it's going to free you from this cage of your mind of the past experience because you are meant to have good things. You are meant to have enough. You are meant to be loved and supported. And, you know, you don't need uh, 10,000 people around you to love you, right? You just need a couple good people in your life. And Spirit says you will have that. And a good solid home where you feel safe, you will have that. And enough food on your table, you will have that. And enough money in your account to pay your bills and have some extra you will have that you are meant to have that it's just all about this uh, root chakra and that's like your first step and focusing there is truly going to be the cascade of events that changes everything for you page of swords and so you're gonna open up um, more to the cosmic consciousness of you which is gonna pull down different ideas knight of swords energy is gonna start moving for you and you're gonna feel finally like empowered and you're gonna move into some victory and some success and um, okay this is very very significant because of what sits above it <clears throat> so this has been you dreaming of you know more money a home solid connections it's different for all of you dreaming of that and just feeling like everything that's handed to you is empty or broken and is this always going to be my destiny and spirit is saying no what you've been dreaming of what you've been looking at you know here it is it can happen for you it absolutely can i mean that is so synchronistic right there it's beautiful and we have the chariot here um and this uh the moon in cancer with the um four of cups and then the moon also rules cancer so cancer season is very significant for you and cancer season starts i believe um like towards the end of june and moves through most of july so cancer season is very significant everything is starting now as soon as you make the decision to just focus and you know think about it you're going to spend you know 10 15 minutes each day for the next 30 days just doing a little bit of meditation connecting to mother earth gaia growing your roots and and really firmly anchoring yourself um, and it's only to the betterment of you like that's all you've got to invest here and watch what happens for you watch the success watch the way things start to flow watch the way you feel like you're coming back to life and you're feeling motivated again and excited again and 
like all these things that worried you and weighed you down not so much you feel empowered like i will make a way i will find a solution whereas in the past you thought some big break had to come your way you're like oh no I can make that big break for myself and what you dreamed of, what you've always been looking up at, you make manifest for yourself 100%. Like, that is so exciting for you guys. Let's, uh, I just want to pull a few cards here for those of you that really want to start your own business of sorts, give you some advice from Spirit on how to do that, how to, you know, begin that process. And this may also um, bring advice and light to others of you that, you know, aren't so much trying to start your own business, but that's what these cards are about, being an entrepreneur. All right, so we have slow down. Sometimes you need to slow down, get out of overwhelm, refresh and regroup in order to speed up your results. And that is all about grounding your earth chakra and being balanced there. And that creates the balance up through the rest of your chakra system. And um, you're going to open up to your third eye and your crown chakra also much more. And a lot of ideas are going to start coming to you. Next is offer. Uh, identify the the specific qualities of your ideal client or customer and make solid no-brainer offers that they're happy to buy. So um, this here is about brainstorming. Whatever it is like you want to do, you want to be, really get deep, really sit in meditation. You know, do a 15-minute a meditation of, you know, healing, balancing, and grounding your root chakra and then see what ideas come to you about your next step in creating a career path for yourself or your own business or just self-improvement and betterment. Next is direct. Learn how to find and direct your ideal clients and customers to your offers, website, content, and social media channels. So um, those of you who uh, are really trying to get your business or your name out there, uh, you need to learn marketing or maybe um, do some research with some tips, some pointers to help you or hire, um, you know, a marketing person to really help get your product out there, get your name out there, get your um, social medias out there. And lastly, broadcast, develop your unique voice, then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. Beautiful. That right there is a very special confirmation. Some of you have been thinking about that, um, you know, doing a podcast. Uh, doing a YouTube channel, maybe a TikTok, you know, um, just some sort of platform where you are sharing your wisdom, sharing your knowledge, talking about your product, your ideas. Okay, Spirit says believe in yourself. Um, you never know what could happen. And as you work on healing that root chakra, you will change, you will, and you will find motivation that you never had before, and you will feel empowered and strong in ways that you've only dreamed of, and ideas, and solutions, and epiphanies, they will come to you, and you will know what you need to do, the steps you need to take, the actions you need to make to make things manifest in your world. So let's pull some more cards, some advices from Spirit. Ponder what you want. Don't view rejection or uncertainty as negative. Timing may, may not be in alignment with your desire. Consider that you may have more to learn before your desires are fulfilled. Step back and consider what you truly want. This may be a chance for an optimal turn of events. All right, so with slow down and this here, ponder what you want. Um, some of you are moving too fast in what you're trying to achieve that it's not, you're not being able to like take root 
of anything and slowing down will not make you lose uh, past progress so this also is about balancing and becoming very clear and intentional in your energy and as you work on that uh, earth chakra this will become much easier for you control your emotions and remember the chakra right above is your water chakra so it is also impacted and as we become more solid and stable in the root we also become more solid and stable in the sacral no matter what greatness you have achieved and how much you are loved rage can reverse all of this in the blink of an eye don't react any actions or words may stand you strand you into a deeper hole remain calm and the real strategy will reveal itself when anger has subsided so you know when um, people get in your way uh, set you back don't immediately go into rage or revenge frustration anger balance your root chakra and you will come up with a clever ingenious solution for you for what's happened what's been lost etc all right um, this root chakra for you guys it's like everything once you got that under control you are unstoppable make a decision don't be afraid to make that choice in a seemingly choiceless situation take the first step and great opportunities will emerge for you and those involved Trust that every road is a route to your destiny. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Make a decision to balance that root chakra. And uh, be intentional and follow it through. Like at least for 30 days or until you really start noticing a significant change in your life. And, um, you know, once you begin that practice and that process, you will return back to it when you feel yourself getting out of balance, feeling yourself being, you know, kind of flighty and just flapping in the wind. Because once you know um, that feeling of when your earth chakra is strongly rooted into Mother Earth Gaia, you are unmovable and you feel strong and you feel empowered regardless of the challenge that is before you. And you know that you will overcome it and the strength within will be found even if in that moment you are feeling weak and the answer the solution will always come to you as well it's all about balancing your energy you are a powerful powerful force and through this process i feel you're awakening to that truth of yourself and once you know that there is no going back and you're just going to be somebody else entirely all right let's pull some final messages from spirit Cherish the challenges. I am grateful for every challenging lesson I receive this lifetime. I appreciate my courage and valor. I am my own hero and value all I stand for. Yes, you are such a powerful being. Know it. Own it. I love my inner child. Inside me dwells a child and I care for that child. I give them my loving attention, encircling them with protection. When I am present for my inner child, my adult self heals. And that's back into believing in yourself and believing in the magic of the universe. All right, so those are your messages from this reading. Uh, again, there are going to be links listed below for uh, earth chakra meditation balancing and healing as well as some stuff about tai chi so i am sending you lots of love and light take care